Fairway Drive in Grapevine officially reopened today. There goes a car after being closed since May because of all the flooding. The road goes right through the spillway, so it's really, it's been covered with water. Grapevine Golf Course has also dried up enough to open nine out of the 18 holes. And today's heat didn't stop some golfers from getting out there and knocking around a little bit. The heat's definitely a factor, but it's still at least we're able to get out and do something. We can always drink plenty of water, stay hydrated out here. Things are looking great, though. All right, Fox Force Chief Meteorologist and a pretty decent golfer, Dan Henry, is in. I saw the forecast, Dan. A lot yeah. of 100s and 99s. Well, look at that. I mean, variety. It's looking pretty green out there, though. I mean, <laughs> how often do you see a North Texas golf course in mid-July? looking that lush and green. So I'm sure the uh, conditions are pretty nice. Although I think that gentleman probably doesn't appreciate us showing that shot <laughs> that he hit there. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't say his name. <laughs> you know, your sunny selfies don't necessarily have to be indoors. Uh, case in point, uh, these are members of the sunny service team at DFW Airport. They greet travelers on Fridays. Uh, in fact, they'll continue to do so uh, through August, mid-August. And uh, my thanks to Kiara Granado for sharing that picture with us. And we invite you to do the same here on our Facebook and Twitter pages. On the lakes this weekend, that'll be a place where you can escape the heat somewhat with that breeze blowing uh, over the 80 to 85 degree waters. Sunshine out there, a couple degrees cooler over the water than it will be over the land. We'll top out around uh, 96 degrees instead of 98. Here's a look at the lake levels across North Texas. They are slowly coming down in many cases. Texoma is now about 21.7 feet above the conservation pool level. Whitney is almost two feet above normal. Ray Hubbard uh, is just about uh, even right now. That's the same story at uh, Granberry and Grapevine is now 22.8 feet above normal. Steve Hoffman in the colony today registering a high of 97, a morning low of 78 and of course no rain. In fact, we have been dry now for over a week here in North Texas. Only one day of rain for most of us the entire month. And with this setup here, this big sprawling ridge of high pressure, I don't have any rain in the forecast for at least the next week. The primary storm track has shifted well to our north, and that'll keep the showers and thunderstorms from generally the Pacific Northwest uh, through the uh, northern Rockies into the northern plains and into the Great Lakes states. We will see a few showers as close by as the Panhandle and northern Oklahoma early next week, but they will not make it this far south. Here's a look at the uh, temperature trend. Trending up 98 Saturday, 100 Sunday and Monday. I think we'll peak out around 101 on Tuesday and then fall briefly into the upper 90s on Wednesday. We're still in the low 90s here in Dallas and Fort Worth, 87 in McKinney. Winds out of the south at about 13 and your dew point up to 68. Elsewhere, 82 in Gainesville and Bowie. It's 87 in Terrell and 83 in Waxahachie. Low temperatures tonight, generally in the mid-70s to near 80. Tomorrow, we'll make a run at 100 degrees. I think we'll fall short in the upper 90s, although there could be a 100-degree reading or two, and then a better chance of reaching 100 across more locations in North Texas by Sunday afternoon. Across the country, it's 79 in Pittsburgh right now, 89 in St. Louis, and a very cool, comfy 65 in San Francisco. Some high-level moisture off of Tropical Storm Dolores was helping to fuel some showers and storms in the Panhandle, northwestern Oklahoma today, but that moisture is not coming anywhere near North Texas. 98 tomorrow, 100 on Sunday and Monday as we take a look at your full Warren AccuWeather 7-day forecast. Triple digit heat again on Tuesday at 101. We fall briefly to 99 on Wednesday and then back up to 100 Thursday and Friday.